Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the second part of my two-part series of explaining my gear. And in this episode, I'm going to explain what kind of settings I'm using in my action cameras for FPV. So let's get down to it. As you can see here, yeah, these two are my main action cameras for FPV and I'm going to show you some of the settings I use for my FPV flight since a lot of people have been asking what kind of settings am I using on either the DJI Action 2 or the Insta 360 Pro 2. To start with all my footages I use ND filters so for the DJI Action 2 I use the free world ND filter which was sent to me by free world but unfortunately I've broken all of them I'm left with the ND32 which is really helping me a lot and with the Insta360 Go 2 I got an ND filter on Taobao as you all know I'm in China so I got a Telesyn I don't know which brand it is but it's a cheap brand and I got it on Taobao for a cheap price I have the ND15 here ND32 for my footage I always use an ND filter depending on the day I, I use either an ND8, ND15 or ND32 depending on the day so you have to check that for yourself and know which kind of ND filter you're going to use for the DJI Action 2 I always record in 4K60 4x3 the reason I record in 4x3 is uh, whenever I record by 16x9 there's always a missing piece in my video the sky doesn't show and i'm always pointing to, the, pointing to the ground because there's no allowance here with the battery being here and the action 2 being here there's no allowance for the action 2 to go back so i'm always recording in this way with my battery here so the 4 by 3 helps me to get a lot of uh, uh, resolution into my video then in post i can decide to choose which part of the resolution i want to present out in my youtube videos the DJI action 2 settings uh sometimes i switch between auto and manual but mostly i'm shooting manual because i want to have complete uh, control over all my settings the color sometimes i switch between the similar like and normal depending on the day and depending on the time uh white balance is always fixed at 7700k i don't change it i never use auto white balance with the field of view i sometimes switch between white and standard depending on how i feel depending on how i feel the reason why i don't use the ultra white is because the props in my on my uh quad is shown a lot so i really avoid using ultra wide even in the wide it somehow shows so I, I really don't use the ultra wide in the action too and with the manual setting uh, whenever i'm shooting in 4k 60 i use the 180 degree shutter rule where your shutter speed is supposed to be times two of your frame rate so whenever i'm shooting in 4k 60 60 fps i shoot uh, my shutter speed is 1 over 120 which is 60 times 2 which is one, 1 over 120 and my ISO depending on the day I choose between 400 and 100 uh, 100 is the optimal ISO you're supposed to use but sometimes it come, it's a little bit dark with the ND filter so I increase the ISO to 400 basically that's my settings for the um, action tool one thing I've noticed is most of the work is done in post, so it all depends on how you color grade and color correct your videos to make it look as nice as you want it to be. With regards to the Insta360 Go 2, the workflow is I connect it to my phone, change the settings depending on the day, and that's it. I just put it on my cine log and just fly. And most of the work is done in post, so as I said earlier, you have to learn how to color grade your footages and how to color correct and expose them correctly when you're done so i've already co connected to my phone i'm always, always shooting pro mode uh i don't shoot in auto so i change here then you move to manual 
Emmanuel, you always shoot in with the lowest eye, so as, as much as possible, if you can. Make sure you're shooting in a lower eye, so depending on the day. Um, the eye is so 100 shutter speed, depending on the kind of uh, frame rate you am shooting in. So mostly I shoot in 40-40p, 50fps. So meaning my shutter speed is supposed to be 1 over 100. 1 over 100. My white balance is always set to either 5,000 or 6,000. I don't know why Infinity doesn't allow us to shoot in this room, which would have been perfect. But I mostly shoot at 5,000 or sometimes 6,500, depending on the mood of the day. And this doesn't, it doesn't actually matter whether it's wide or narrow or linear because everything that can be done in post between the Insta360 go to app, this particular app, or the one for the desktop app. Basically, these are my settings for the Insta360 go to.